Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Evan here from the YouTube channel Cartoon Block. And today I'm going to show you my process for drawing one of my favorite action characters, John Wick. Let's get started. I'll be using Sakura's .9 mechanical pencil on this Strathmore toned blue paper. The toned paper is really cool to work with because it allows your darkest darks when you get ready to ink to pop out and your whitest whites. So it gives you a good range of having the highlights, the mid-tones, which is the paper, and then your darkest blacks on the page. Now I wanna go ahead and use the Sumo Grip Eraser to erase any kind of mistakes and make corrections that are necessary on it. I got to say, this eraser is the best eraser I've like ever used because it does, it really does a good job at erasing like all the lead off the page. Most erasers don't do that, but this one works really, really well. Now I can go ahead and use the Pigma Micron set to start the inking process. When I start, I like to use the 05 uh, Pigma Micron because it does a, it has a good size. It's not too fine where I need to get in a lot of detail just yet, but it's also not too fat like the size one or the 08. And for this style of shading, I want to be very loose, free, and sketchy with it. Now I want to switch to the O2 Pigma Micron. This one will give me a finer line, which I want to use on the core shadow. It's where the edge of the shadow meets the light on the side of John Wick's face here. Next, we want to go ahead and grab the brush pen, which is included in the Pigma Micron set, to put in his mustache, his beard, and his goatee area. And the brush pen allows you to get more fluid and organic uh, strokes, which is really good because we don't want to be too technical like we were with the O2 and the O5 size pens. So you want to use your brush pens to put in like more hairs and things like that. And as you can see here, we can go ahead and move on to the hair on his head. And the brush pen is cool because it works just like a paintbrush almost because when you move it really fast you get this cool little tapered shape at the end of every stroke which is how real hair is so that's the cool thing about it now I can switch back to my 05 Pigma Micron and I can put in more of the technical sketchy shadow lines that I like and now comes my favorite part of the drawing process, using the Sakura Jelly Roll white pens. And right here, I'm gonna be using the size 10. And this is where the light is gonna be the brightest on the figure. So you wanna find out what's the brightest area on your figure and just use the white Jelly Roll pens in that specific area. You don't wanna like mess around with other areas too much and here I'm using this cross hatching method and that's my own stylized choice as an artist you can pick whatever choice you know suits your own personal taste and I want to go ahead and add a highlight here on the corner of his nose um, I want to go ahead and put some more on this side plane of the nose and kind of just touch the highlights on the wrinkles on his forehead up here and on his cheek so as you can see on his right side of the face you're going to have more of the light hitting that area. But you don't want to make the entire area too bright because it is very easy to overdo it. And lastly, you want to put the shines in his eyes. This is the finishing touch of your illustration. So you want to take your time and make sure you do it right. And there you have it. That's John Wick. Thanks for watching.